Hello, I'm Jermaine Grant, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this easy, minimal, cinematic title intro inside Premiere Pro. I'm going to start by creating a title by pressing T on my keyboard and clicking on my program monitor. And the text I'm going to type in is the ocean. The font I'm using is Interstat Mono Regular. I feel it's a nice minimalistic font. Now I'm going to highlight the text by pressing Control A, and I'm going to increase the space in between each letter by clicking here and changing this number to 66. Next, I'm gonna fade the text in and out. In the effects control panel, under opacity, I'm gonna move my cursor to the beginning of the clip and set a keyframe by pressing this button. Then I'm gonna change the opacity percentage to zero to set my first keyframe. And I'm gonna move my cursor along to about here and I'm gonna set the opacity to 100. Next, I'm gonna right click on the last keyframe and select Bezier. Then I'm gonna click on this 12 down button and I'm gonna click and drag this handle so we have a curve looking like this. This is so the fade in is more natural and less robotic. I'm gonna do the exact same for the fade out. So I'm gonna go along, I'm gonna set another keyframe by clicking this button and I'm gonna to go to the end of my clip and I'm gonna set the opacity to zero. I'm gonna right click the last frame and I'm gonna set that to linear. I'm gonna click on this keyframe and click and drag this handle down a bit so it looks like this. Next, I'm gonna add a blur effect at the beginning and the end of the text intro. So make sure your text layer is selected, come into the effects control panel, type in Gaussian blur, drag this effect in the effects control panel. Remember to make sure that the effect is placed above the text effect. I'm gonna set two keyframes again by going to the beginning of the text layer and setting the blurriness to 90. Then where the opacity keyframe is, I'm gonna set another keyframe by setting the blurriness to zero. To make the fading of the effect feel more natural, I'm gonna set the last keyframe again to Bezier. I'm gonna click the drop down button next to blurriness and click on the handle right under the selected keyframe and drag like so. Then I'm gonna set another two keyframes at the end of the clip so the effect fades out nicely. I'm gonna set the keyframe just after the opacity keyframe by pressing this button. And I'm gonna to go to the end of my clip and set the blurriness to 90 again. I'm gonna right click on this keyframe and select linear. And just like before, I'm gonna click on this keyframe. I'm gonna click and drag the cursor so it looks something like that. But we're not finished there. I'm gonna set my scale to 70. Lastly, I'm gonna add a bit of movement to the text. So in the effects control panel, type in basic 3D. And I'm gonna drag the basic 3D effect, making sure it's above the text layer in the effects control panel. And in the basic 3D effect, I'm gonna create a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch button next to distance to image. And I'm gonna to go to the end of my clip and I'm gonna set the distance to image to minus 15. And now we have this nice cinematic title, intro or outro effect inside Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching. My name is Jermaine Grant. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video. Goodbye.